If you've ever been to Beaver Creek Resort, you know that this isn't exactly roughing it. As the third time host of the World Alpine Ski Championships, Beaver Creek is unrivaled when it comes to mountain hospitality. But if you're looking for a place to stay where comfort and privacy reign supreme, there's one place that's truly above the rest. Hi, I'm Glenn Thayer, and I'm gonna take you inside the very private and luxurious world of Chateau Beaver Creek. My arrival yesterday was by car, but it felt as though I'd been transported back in time. I've not seen this kind of magnificence in architecture since I was last in Europe. Let's just say they don't build them like this anymore. And even if they could, you'd be hard pressed to find a vacation home with an easier way to ski in and ski out. Let's go inside. I'm not sure if you were counting, but I was. I was 20 steps from the snow to my very own ski locker, complete with dryers for my ski boots. It just doesn't get better than this. Each morning, the staff gets a wood fire going in the fireplace, prepares the coffee and tea service, and during peak season, they provide a hearty continental breakfast for those who want to get an early start. Should the weather turn a bit too cold and snowy, it's nice to know that all of this is waiting for you when you return. Come this way. I'll show you what I've got planned for the afternoon. As you can see, there's a fully equipped fitness room with a state-of-the-art cardio theater and strength training machines. But beyond these doors is the Chateau's private spa. Tanya here is going to show you the women's locker room while I get ready for my massage. Both the men's and women's locker rooms are complete with steam rooms and private hot tubs. The spa is equipped with private changing rooms and lockers so that you can prepare for a spa treatment or simply head to the pool. Glenn, your therapist will come find you in about 10 minutes. Is there anything I can get you in the meantime? Oh, I think I'm good, thanks. Uh, but maybe you can take our guests upstairs and give them the grand tour. Of course. And I also wanted to let you know you'll be interviewing one of our owners in the library tonight at 5. And your dinner reservation for Splendido is confirmed for 6. Thanks, Tanya. Okay, I know what you're thinking. But I gotta be well prepared for this interview. We'll just call it market research. My name is Tanya, and I'm the Director of Guest Services here at Chateau Beaver Creek. This is the main foyer where you enter on arrival. The first thing you might notice is that there is no front desk. That's because we want our residents and guests to feel the privacy and comfort of being at home. Guest Services is located just off the main foyer. We spend most of our time helping you plan your vacation long before you arrive. There's really no limit to the pre-arrival services we can provide. And once you're here, we make it our goal to provide whatever it takes to make your vacation perfectly enjoyable. The lobby bar is a great place to meet friends before dinner, enjoy appetizers from Splendido, or listen to piano music. This is the only part of the chateau that is open to the public. If you're planning on staying for dinner, reservations are recommended. Splendido is one of the finest restaurants in the Vale Valley. Let's see if we can find Chef David Walford. Chef David has been at the helm of Splendido for over 18 years. There he is now with sommelier Patrick Mildrum. That was, that was hey guys. Hi Tanya. How are you Tanya? Good. So Chef David, I'm wondering if you could tell us what you'll be serving at your table tonight. Well we're pretty well known for our wood oven roasted Colorado rack of lamb, but maybe we'll start with uh, Brian's uh, homemade cavatelli with Brussels sprouts, walnuts and capers, and then maybe some uh, lobster bisque. So Chef, what do you think about a Kongsgard Chardonnay for our first courses? We'll follow that with a Chateauneuf de Pop from Palatard with the lamb. That sounds pretty good. And for dessert? Alex, Alex. Peruvian chocolate ganache. Tanya, what do you think about some Talisker single malt scotch for our special guest in the library? Perfect, but make it two. He's interviewing one of our owners at five. Okay. Yeah. 
In case you were wondering, the Apre ski massage at the Chateau's private spa was divine. And so was this single malt scotch. I'm your host, Glenn Thayer, for this special tour of Chateau Beaver Creek. With me this evening is Lee, one of the fortunate souls that have the privilege of owning a home at Chateau Beaver Creek. Thanks for taking time away from your family to speak with me. My pleasure, Glenn. Have you enjoyed your stay? Well, let's just say that uh, I'm already planning my next trip here. Good to hear. You know, some of our guests have been returning to Chateau Beaver Creek for 20 consecutive years, so we're doing something right. Well, I can see why. But tell me, from your perspective, why did you choose to own a home here at Chateau Beaver Creek? We could have purchased a vacation property pretty much anywhere here in Beaver Creek. Um, but the last thing we needed or wanted was the hassle of managing another home. Um, the staff here works very hard. They take good care of us. They manage our house. They t look after our cars. They make sure everything's in tip-top shape before we get here and pretty much that we have whatever our hearts desires while we're here. Uh, the ski-in and ski-out access is unsurpassed. And Chateau Beaver Creek is an exceptionally private place, and that was very important to us. Now, you're currently serving as the chairman of the board of directors of Chateau Beaver Creek. How long have you been an owner here? We've been here since 1997, and I imagine that my children will want to keep Chateau Beaver Creek in the family's estate for generations to come. After all, they all learned to ski here. It's wonderful to hear. Uh, how many homes are contained within Chateau Beaver Creek? And I guess more importantly, how many are available as rental accommodations? There are 65 total residences. Some are single family homes, some are condominium residences. All of them are wholly and privately owned. And if I'm not mistaken, 17 of our owners have made their property available as vacation rentals. And that's a good thing, because if not, I would have never had the opportunity to experience Chateau Beaver Creek. Well, th that's true. Uh, as I said before, uh, Chateau Beaver Creek is exceptionally private. Uh, kings and queens have stayed here, heads of state, uh, celebrities, CEOs, uh, professional athletes have all stayed here, but surprisingly, very few people on the outside even know we're up here. That's the beauty of being up on the side of the mountain instead of down in the village. It's really the best of both worlds. And what is it like here in the summer? Uh, the summer is absolutely magical. There are hiking trails literally just steps away. And what they do with the flowers over by the poolside terrace is unbelievable. The mountain air is crisp and clean and the temperature is perfect. There's always something going on down in the village or at the Pilar Center for Performing Arts, but personally I just can't get enough of sitting on my deck and enjoying the trees and the view. It's, it's really magnificent. Well, thanks again, Lee, for sharing your insights. I think I'm going to take our friends upstairs and show them my place. Well, my place, at least for the time being. Enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs>